after they're all trimmed back, we'll go over and clean the sidewalks. Okay. Um, they leave stains. Okay, and Cheryl Williams. State your name and address for the record, please. Yes, ma'am. My name is Cheryl Williams. I live at 1551 Northwest 108th Avenue, Plantation, Florida, 33322. Honorable Mayor, Goldman, and Commissioners, I am here to read a victim impact statement. I am a former SIB employee who was victim of a workplace harassment and abuse. I am here to clear my name. How bad was the abuse for me to give up $85,000 salary, benefits, six weeks of PTO time, Florida retirement, knowing that no one was going to go against Mr. Mars and the HR director. I worked for SIB from 2013 to 2022 with great performance reviews and promoted in September 2021. So if there's anything negative in my HR file, my file has been padded. Residents questioned why Mr. Mars was rehired after being fired. At least three individuals went to the former city manager about Mr. Mars. I submitted a harassment claim to protect myself, learning this was futile because Mr. Mars told a staff member in September 2021 that he, summer 2021, he was going to fire me. I was not shocked learning this since Mr. Mars told me that he would get rid of seven employees if he was ever in power. Here are some facts. Mr. Mars recruited me to work for the city of Sunny Isles Beach, so why would he target and fire me? The HR director has had an angst against me for years. She used Mr. Mars to get rid of me. I submitted over 60 pages of documentation showing a pattern of behavior of Mr. Morris. The independent investigator of my case who drafted the separation documents for firing Mr. Morris, still the investigator cited Mr. Morris. I named at least five individuals who would have, have collaborated in my claims. Conveniently, the investigator never interviewed these individuals. I was gaslighted by Mr. Morris and he made my life a living hell from June through October 21. Mr. Morris told me that he only wanted to hire younger individuals. I felt targeted because of my race. Based on these two claims, I believe that the city promoted two Caucasian individuals in the 50s for damage control. A resident submitted a public records request. This resident received limited information even though there's 112 pages marked as public record. Florida is at will state. Mr. Morris did not need a reason to fire me, but once again, he wanted to with me. He fired for me being subordinate. I'm not sure how I was insubordinate on administrative leave. I never plan on returning to the city because the abusive work environment is protected by politics and elected officials. The city will tell you that I'm crazy and unreliable. However, this is part of gaslighting. SIB tax dollars are being used to cover up harassment. In 2020, Mayor Goldman wrote an article about bullying. However, her side of the street is not clean. An individual who has knowledge of abuse within the workplace does nothing about it is as culpable as the harassers and bullies. I almost died because of your decisions. My faith carried me through. God is using me to make a difference. The elected officials and Mr. Martz may have won the battle. However, I will win the war. I will clear my name by speaking to anyone in Miami-Dade County, to Tallahassee, to Washington, D.C., and be the voice to stop out of workplace harassment and bullying. I was victimized, and I will no longer be a victim. Thank you. Yeah, Mayor, commissioners, as Ms. Williams knows, an investigation was conducted into these allegations and, and it was found to be totally unfounded. Uh, she also entered into a severance agreement uh, with the city uh, whereby she agreed that uh, the city didn't owe her anything other than uh, what uh, her salary and her uh, past due leave balances and some money that we gave her for a COBRA payment. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure that you understand that those allegations have been investigated by an outside counsel and were found to be unfounded. Now, what I don't understand is why would the lady leave rather than to answer back your, your statement right now? Because she didn't have any grounds to stand on. No, 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 no. I'm just what, saying. What, leaving now? Yes. I don't know, Jerry. She? I don't know what. Yeah, it just surprises me that she would. What? Walk out rather than stand here and, He's okay. He's and, okay. and answer you back. So, is she Mayor, still here or did she Mayor, leave? public oh. comments over yeah, here. Left. Um, well, this is, um, this meeting is, uh, there are no other public comments, so we're going to adjourn this meeting. Motion to adjourn. Motion. Yes. Second. Thank you. All in favor, aye. All in favor. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs>